On April 1st, 2021, I ditched a career I absolutely hated to better myself and do the things I've always wanted to do. And that included my growing love and obsession with Ireland. I want to learn everything. Culture, history, mythology, music, and the language. Which, if I'm being honest, looks really hard to learn, but I'm going to give it the old Smith try. Then, of course, there is my love of pubs and the role that they've played throughout history, and no better example of that than on that beautiful, beleaguered island in the North Atlantic, Ireland. April 1st, 2026, I depart for the Emerald Isle, and for one year, I'll hike town by town and conduct interviews with pub owners, pub regulars, historians, town know-it-alls, musicians, and basically anybody that wants to talk to me. If you'd like to support the project and the journey, basic Patreon support is only three bucks a month, but just liking a video or subscribing to the channel and following the journey is just as helpful. I'm always looking for volunteers to work as liaisons for the project too, so if you live in Ireland and know people, feel free to hit me up. This is a huge goal and I need all the help I can get. The Smitty Learns Irish podcast begins April 26th and will be my life's work. Thank you. One more reaction, then we'll hit these headline scrolls and see what I got there. Now this is Mastodon. About a 13-minute jam. Uh, and I've said many times while reacting to Mastodon, and I started reacting them, reacting to them for this very reason, where I listened to them uh, in my off time before I even started the channel and uh, before I started doing reactions. My brother's a big fan of this band. And he tra he's tried to get me into them. I played them on my old radio show several times, even especially the metal show that I did. And it was just always something that never really hit me or nothing, nothing really grabbed me. It's like I recognize what they're doing and I should like it. I should like it. <laughs> And I don't not like it, but it's just nothing has really grabbed me. So a great comment from Therunthal. I tried to get into them around 2015 or so and felt exactly the same way. Something was missing. I couldn't put my finger on it. I could tell they were an excellent band, but they couldn't hook me. And that's exactly what I was saying. He says, then I went to see them with Gojira in August and they blew me away as a live band. That was the magic potion I've been on a five-month Mastodon blender. I keep finding single songs to build around and branching out, and I've got the fever. Keep trying with this guys, these guys. The more you listen, the greater chance you have of being hooked. Try The Last Baron for a hard left turn from the stuff you've heard. All right. I like hard left turns. So we will do... Uh, is it The Baron? Let me get my fucking playlist up here. I have it saved. The Last Baron from Crack the Sky, which I have to say, I may have listened to this album before. I'm not sure. Uh, I, th I know I've heard several songs on it. I'm pretty sure I've heard Oblivion, Divinations, and then maybe the title track. So I don't know if I've listened to the whole thing or not. Uh, but I love the request, and I want to get into Mastodon. So let's see what happens. The Last Baron.
I have to say I'm enjoying it. In a 13-minute song, I would really want to reduce the pauses as much as possible. Uh, but I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying the melodies. I'm enjoying the way uh, they've built the song. Uh, I, I don't know what it is with me on this because I don't. I think Brent Hines is that right? Because I know him from Legends of the. I know him from Mastodon, obviously. And I know he's in Legends of the Seagullman, and that fucking band is one of my favorite things ever. If you've never checked out Legends of the Seagullman, by all fucking means, do that immediately. Just one album. Uh, but I, it, there was always something about like the vocal harmonies, the vocal melodies, rather, that they use. And I, and I don't know. It, did, it, it didn't off-put me, but it didn't hook me. You know what I mean? I don't think it works against the song that it doesn't grab me. Um, but I'm really getting into the song structure. That being said. Yeah. like some rush shit <laughs> seriously that sounded like some rush shit you know when a tom sawyer or some shit uh well, who the fuck requested this you know, way to go it's like we share a brain uh this might be the song because this is fucking rad just the changes and uh i don't even really know what to describe half of the shit i've heard so far but just that that wasn't a breakdown necessarily. That super fast chunky chicka chicka thing, uh, uh, which is the technical term for it. That chicka chicka thing. <laughs> Let's bring it back a little bit. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> what is this? Y Y Z.
that thing. That's a chicka chicka thin thing. Fuck yeah. That's gnarly. That's really fucking gnarly, man. Just that little change, and I don't even know how to describe that sound and what it makes me think of. It'll probably probably come to me. Uh, a certain guitar player or a certain song or a certain band. Golly, gee whiz. Just that effect on that, uh, uh, that little echo effect right there. I'm trying to remember. Boy, oh boy. Enjoying the shit out of this song. Man, they really balanced that uh, instrumentally beautifully. Like that acoustic guitar, and then there's that dirty, gnarly accompanying it, the don't, don't, don't thing, uh, which is also the technical term for that. <laughs> but the way it's doing it, it's total oxymoron sort of thing, and it's working really well together.
really cool keyboard effects, I think, too, uh, going off in this year. Uh, fucking mixed beautifully. So shout out to whoever the producer, engineer, mixer is on this, man. Fucking. <laughs> See, and I, and I feel like people would wonder because this original, I don't know if this original request wanted, requester wanted me to do it, uh, the live version. I did see a live version on there, but man, I really just want my first listen to music to be with headphones on, uh, just jamming. That's the way I want to hear the music. I will check out subsequent live reactions to the song if people want to see that, of course. Uh, but the first listen, man, I just like to be with headphones and you can just hear the nuance and you can hear how the song was originally pretty much intended and then take it wherever they want to do with it live is the cool thing about it. So anyway. I hope they fade this out. Yeah. And they kind of faded it out. <laughs> this is way better. What they did is better. But I mean, uh, I really, really uh, like the idea of just on a super rad jam, just fading it out. Be like, yeah, it's the best way to end it. Uh, 13 minutes of my time well spent, I will say. Uh, man, you really nailed that uh, request, dude. I don't know uh, how I missed that song before and if I heard it before, why I didn't fucking fall in love with it. But. Uh, I mean, just sections of awesomeness and nuance and impact moments. And uh, at the beginning, I was kind of like, okay, where are we going to go? Uh, wasn't necessarily feeling it, but man, uh, quickly, quickly oh, was, uh, I mean, we had 13 minutes to sit with it, right? About the first three, I was like, where's this going to go? <laughs> but then quickly after three minutes, uh, proved to me that I want to listen to that again soon. Uh, and man, maybe I really need to just get into an album deep dive from this band. I know I've heard at least one album. Which other album have I heard from this band? Where do I want to start? Where would I want to start, man? Uh, they've had an album hushed and grim, which I believe I may have heard a song from there. Uh, maybe pushing the tides, perhaps. I can't remember if I listened to that on my own or I reacted to it. I'm not sure. Um, Remissions, their first album from 2002. I have heard at least one song from The Hunter. I think Black Tongue, perhaps. Curl of the Burl, I've heard. Uh, let's see. Which one I know I've heard before. You know what? No. <laughs> no. Which one is it? Is it Emperor of Sand? 
No, maybe it's hushed and grim that I've listened to the whole album before. I've listened to that whole album before. And I uh, didn't know how it did. Nothing really grabbed me. And that's okay. Now I remember. Okay. I've listened to this album, (laughs) but uh, I really want to give it another listen. I don't know. Maybe I'll start at the beginning with remission. Sounds good to me. If it sounds good to you and it really, if it just sounds good to me, I'm going to do it anyway. That's really how this goes. What the hell? Everything!